first the risk, especially the security like that. So what happened to me, I had to manage that. But from my personal experience, I just try to to ignore the feeling, the, the fear. I say that fear sometimes creates us so much afraid and cannot move forward. So I try to ignore and my friend, my family talk to me, please stop. If you not stop work, just stop. You talk, just stop to talk and slow. But if you try to get this feedback seriously, that your your work, your move will not forward. You just feel fear and finally just stop. So it's my experience. I try to manage the risk, but because I have experience in the very cruel situation, brutality situation, I know how to manage that. Try to know fear and then move forward. That's my experience. Okay, other questions? If you have room for one or two comments, please, suggestions? Yes, from Dr. Elias Matienza. Yeah, I have uh, two questions, uh, two short questions based on the experience of uh, uh, the Philippines. In the Philippines, we have a lot of young people involved in elections, all phases of the elections, and we also try to use alternative uh, media in uh, elections and information dissemination. So maybe in the case of uh, Cambodia, I'm interested if. Uh, uh, what are the things that you are doing to get young people to be involved in uh, electoral reform and political reform in Cambodia? And second, uh, what are the prospects for the use of alternative media, including the internet and uh, political education and the electoral reforms? Thank you. So, deal with the young young people it's not easy that try to say them involved in politics involved in election it is not easy in Cambodia because they now the new generation they not so much aware what happened during in the past and we have not so much uh, as document and study in school about what happened but we just uh, uh, get information about the, you know, about the story, the past uh, problem uh, in the family among the old generation just talk to them. So they have no information in us. That's why their behavior is not, not really like my generation. They are very different. They independ themselves by the new way of life, like in, like, I think, like, ASEAN do. So not easy, you know. That's why we, we try to first start engage them voluntarily in the election observation. We learn from the business successful how to engage students and uh, you just involve in activity because they may be excited to, to have more experience how to involve in the of activity like election observation, uh, vote, uh, vote, voter education. So because they have personal interest to get more experience, they start to engage in our activities. In Congress we have 70 percent of our Observer, they are the youth from 18 years old to 30 years old. So they they very fresh. They they not partisan. They their energy very strong. So and and very voluntary uh, commitment. So we work with them. Start from that. It's not so much about conceptualize what is politics, what is the important operation, but just in, in our community to 
Indian intelligence. India. India start the beginning of Julia study. Okay. And now we try to use other alternative media also, but we just to start now this year because in Kabul very poor and around 200,000 people able to access to use this alternative media like social media, website, blog, with uh, Facebook, not like Philippines. And people interact with each other through mobile phone, SMS, also not so many young people, mostly they use the uh, uh, voice or not so much SMS, SMS like anything. But however, this year we start to promote that uh, social media and to target the youth because in Cambodia the youth most use this uh, social media among these 200,000 access to the internet they are young people so we will create some something uh, special that target to the young people and, uh, and encourage them to interact with in our social media. We have a radio program, uh, one hour every week, and try to have dialogue with you. And our program, you go or not go, that means try to talk with them. If you go, involved in the politics, we have to debate what kind of politics they should be engaged, how why? But if not go, we also have to talk with them. Why decide not to participate in politics? So this program tries to open not just the people interested in the politics, but in the, both the young voters not interested in the politics also. That encourage them to have debate with us. So this program, one, one hour radio every uh, one week per hour. So yeah, it's continuation. With that, and we hope we also will use the SMS to target the youth also to educate, provide the voter information because the young voter, according to our survey, they get information for the voter, for the voting and the registration by the the parent, not by the news, not by the newspaper or the TV radio, but by the parent and. In our assumption, because suppose the, the young people should have information and inform their parents, but in contrast of calling out the survey, actually the parents inform them. So it is something problem in the, our our information system. That's why we this year we are trying to modify a little bit to target them. How can reach to them? Thank you. Okay, maybe do we still have one? question left or comment. So if there are no comments and suggestions, um, first I'd like to thank everybody for being here this morning. Again, this event is, is largely organized by the Third World Study Center of UP with the Roman Mosaic Life Foundation and the co-sponsors the UP Office of the Vice President for Public Affairs, the College of Arts and Letters Office of the Dean, the UP Department of Political Science and the Department of History. Again, we would like to thank uh, Mr. Cole Panya, 2011 Roman Mosaic Sai Awardee, and our new friend from the Ateneo de Manila University, uh, Assistant Professor Maria Elisa Jaime Lao, for, for gracing this morning's activity. Uh, maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdala, mabuhay po kayo na. Thank you.